I didn't go for the bear. I came... I... Hmm. I believe that what we are doing is... The dog enough. is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. What you got there? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Thank you. Listen, we've done so much weird shit already. Um, oop. where are those sandals? Yeah, maybe. I will try to make it as weird as I'm comfortable, but not go over the line. You wish to speak? I am here for you. There's still content at my side. It doesn't have to be your fight and certainly not your typical habitat. The city, you mean? With all its noise, smoke, stone and bustle? Mm -hmm. I would not be here given the choice, but I promised you my support. And that is what you shall have. Still, though, this place crawls with life, but little of it flourishes. I see refugees unhoused, the destitute unwanted, orphans unloved. The city is like a forest with an overgrown canopy. Light and nourishment cannot penetrate to those who need it the most, and still it draws them in. The safety of numbers, the promise of civilization, the dream of better. All that potential is too often destined to die in the dark and rot in the gutter. I wish, I wish there was a better way. I wish everyone could see the sun, have a full belly and know nature as a friend. There is a balance that is yet to be found. <laughs> Listen to me, preaching like an initiate in his cups. It's a faint dream. Perhaps you can help find a balance. Yes, I hope so. But we have a battle to win before any of that. No, really, where is Alien? Where's the kid? Smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. And the kid is gone, the cat is gone. Did you eat the cat? Because is here. Where's the kid? Please. Hmm. Keep a wide provide Mistra has a shrine in the city. Located in the Storm Shore Tabernacle, of my memory serves. Yes, and you wanna go there? But I shall be paying my respects to any of the gods on show. Uh, okay, it just shows me the place where I can enter the uh -huh, to under city. Yeah, it was a little had the marker here. Let's see what else we can do for now. Something <laughs> that's not as bad. I have an inkling that um, Duke Raven card is in the Iron Throne. Let's visit the 
Oh right, the House of Grief also. Should we go first to the House of Grief or to the... where was it? I think it was Fort... Devil's Fee. Um, wait, where is the House of... House of Grief is over here. I mean, they are not at all close to each other, which I wanted to say. Let's pay the visit to Raphael's house first. Then we will go to the... Sweet. After that we will go... Oh, wait. After that we will go to the House of Grief. After that... What else? Uh, Avenger Drowned. With that, we will be able to go to the Iron Throne, I think. Yeah, but to perform the ritual, we need to go up here. That's curious. That's curious? It doesn't always show properly what was found. It I think it was on the second floor. Thank you. I strongly suggest that you reconsider this course of action. What? What you expect to gain from the Hells is not worth the risk of traveling there uninvited. That's why I'm gonna save here. If anything goes wrong, we will... Oh, I get it. You're scared. Uh, he yeah. has the things. and the instructions to open the portal you must place the ritual items on the proper places on the blood star place the skull on the star point near the altar Place the coin of Valon on the next point to the right, so I think, wait, star, uh, skull, coin, counting clockwise, skip a point and place the diamond on the next one, place the incense on the point that follows the diamond, Finally, place the informable in the center of the star. Yes? And these things have stayed interesting. Oh. What are these? Dead. It sounds quiet. I can't hear the Mind Flayer's voice here. Gods, I can't believe I'm doing this. We're gonna get out of here, right? Well, only one way to find out. Uh, let's just find that fucking hammer and get out of here fast. Mm -hmm. On the bright side, my engine finally feels normal. Like it isn't about to explode. Oh, maybe that will... Proof useful for you. I gotta admit, that's pretty nice. Let's find that hammer and get out of here before I get used to feeling like I might live. Okay, but let's prepare. <sighs> yeah, let's prepare. <laughs> I should have thought about that earlier before going here. Where you can create, not animate. Okay, never mind. First, yeah, we need 
audit for that. This is a concentration or not? <sighs> it is a concentration, okay. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I don't have any buffs I can grab. The best I can do is get us a scratch. So kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return. Maybe I can help you be free of whoever's hurting you. The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. I hope so. But it is a faint hope. Just like me. I can't leave. I could only suffer. But I'm supposed to do that in silence. Everyone here hates me for what I am. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise. Undone by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. Raphael's driven her mad. Poor soul. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question count. Make some of them count twice. I need to find the Orphicomer. Can you help me? Discovered an ancient git prince in need of a savior? The Orphic Hammer is the perfect tool for breaking all infernal chains. Hope can help. The hammer is here in this house. It's... You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily. Even you, especially me. And that makes them dangerous, but it also makes them stupid. I'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here. A simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch. <laughs> now whisper your questions, little wretch. But really quiet and very clever. Concentrate. Speak soft as the breeze caught melody. Remember, quiet as a mouse. To find the Orphic Hammer, where is it? The same place you'll find your sorry little soul. In the archive, down the corridor, past the debtors. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question, and I'll know for sure. What is it? Can you save me? Please, 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 please. 
If I can, I will. What needs to be done? All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Mm -hmm. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, key. Take the hammer, smash my chains. But be careful when you take the hammer. The fire will come and Raphael, you must run, 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 run. But don't forget me. Please, please, please. I don't want to burn. Not again. We won't. We'll get you out. I promise. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places. And without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. Here goes nothing. Okay, let's save once again. So, find the key, find the hammer, break the chains. It will be best if we don't talk to anyone. Don't want to be in depth to Raphael now more than ever. Something over there. In the front of the tram, I don't suppose we have any of those. Unless this counts. Find the key, find the hammer. How did you end up here? She did my chums, took everything and ran. The kindly devil hid me from them, made sure they'd never find me. I skitter now, best at the litter, and hungry, want vittle sweet with a rot. Simpler life, but harder. Speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you can't take it yet. And even if you could, you mustn't. Trigger the alarm, and Raphael will come swooping home on wings of malice to rip out your soul. In this house, thieves are melted like butter and spread onto toast. Shh. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I need you to stay calm and guide me. I can. I shall. I can. I shall. The archivist is the key, but he's as stubborn as a king and as serious as a heart attack. Exploit his fiddling weakness and make him grovel! Oh no. They hear me. 
Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes. Consider it as being softly and without emotion. You study your mind and prepare your questions. How should I deal with the archivist? He fears authority figures. Perhaps his teacher took a strap to him and left a deep impression at an early age. There's one regular visitor that he particularly fears. She is... Shh. A crack like breaking bone. Hope winces. Who does the archivist fear hope? I need a name. Receptor. A High Inquisitor of Zariel. Officially entitled to audit Raphael's collection. Her true form is so gargantuan and mind scarring to behold that she takes on many guises when she visits. Play your part well, and you can be one of those blasphemous guises. Okay. The master is very indulgent of you, Corinna, but I will not let you bring disorder into the archive. I'm not bringing anything, you little false pot. I'm just here to watch the story unfold. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A guest? Are you a client of the Master, or a visitor from elsewhere in the Hells? I do not believe you were invited. One moment. I shall consult the visitor's schedule. Hmm. 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 Most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. I am Virilius Receptor, Zariel's. Oh, I only have plus five. Zariel's High Inquisitor. A thousand apologies, O oh Majestic Magistrate of the Infernal Court. Your mortal guise is so vile, I found it perfectly convincing. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses. But my spine is ruptured in a thousand places. You do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. You'll find everything accounted for, and I can present documents of procurement if necessary. Any new highlights in the collection? A fine pair of gauntlets. But allow the wearer to twist the head from even the most resilient malingerer. An amulet that causes the blood to surge and the heart to swell, along with other parts. Hmm. Most invigorating. And awaiting installation, we have secured a rod that gathers the weave around it in great quantities, just as surely as shit gathers flies. Hmm. I have no idea how he will react, I just caution. I might have to confiscate some of these artifacts. You may examine them, O oh diabolical dominatrix, but they cannot be removed unless you present a writ of infernal requisition with Article 152 correctly filled out. Hmm. I would like to see the hammer, please. An exquisite and most unique artifact. 
Crafted with materials hewn from the depths of the Hells by Raphael's Merrigan labor force. As it was created by Raphael himself, we have no documents of procurement, nor do we require any. But if you wish to examine the artifact itself, you are more than welcome. As part of the special collection, that item is guarded by a master word that even I do not know. I suggest you wait until Raphael returns, and you can discuss the matter with him. You are welcome to relax in the boudoir until then. It is where Raphael conducts his most private matters of business and pleasure. You will need this to gain access. The resident of the boudoir will wish to explore every inch of your new form, and I'm sure you will be happy to share. Are you done with the rat? That is the hammer. The amulet, which I don't... Through the telescope, a sinister vista sprawls before you, boiling rivers and sheer crags, a sight of the hells that you'll never forget. He's painting it. Hello. Hi. Those are the gauntlets. You want something? You are stupendously lugubrious this day, High Inquisitor. An inspiration to us all. Okay, so if that's all. I made a mistake. Can't resist the faintest hint of a temptation, can you? I suppose that makes two of us. That little disguise Hope gave you is adorable. I can see right through it, of course. And so will Raphael. He's going to notice you nosing around his house. I hope you're ready to face a very angry devil. Mm -mm. Why don't you run off and tell him, Carilla? You love tattling to daddy, don't you? What are you doing here? Me? This is home base. I'm not even going to ask what you're doing here. Plausible deniability. Might want to steer clear of my sister Hope, though. She's mad as a March hare. If she'd just agreed to serve Raphael, he'd probably have released her a long time ago. As things stand, she's his favorite toy. We're all mad here. But Hope and Hell? Why? That's the definition of insanity. Hope is your sister. She is. Though we've got about as much in common as a princess and a pauper. Raphael offered her the world. She didn't want it. He sweetened the deal. She said no. No matter how many times he upped the ante, she just laughed in his face. He didn't like that. Eventually, he took her by force, trapped her and swore he wouldn't let her go till she gave him what he wanted. Conversion. The stubborn ass has endured more torment than any soul should be able to. Even when he took all of her skin, she held on to hope. Raphael finds that puzzling. And he loves puzzles. You being here is another puzzle. You don't seem like you want to die. You want my advice? Enjoy whatever life remains to you. When Raphael catches you, you'll never enjoy anything again. And that's just the way she goes away. But now I'll fill my pack. Oh, the gilded invitation admits the bear to Raphael's boudoir for a private meeting. It's most overwhelming of 
Palmoral and pepper. Raphael, did your mother sing your nursery rhymes? What? Little Miss Teffel sat on her kettle, steam blowing between her lips. Along her came her oven, in need of some loving, and soon she had scolded hips. That's funny. And yet you do not laugh. Come, Hope. Don't look so ugly with it. This little realm around us, this house, you have mastery of it. And you of me. Sing me a song, Hope. I'm speaking to you. Now don't go silent. I'll hate to have a sl to slit a child up. The navel and rinse you in their insides. You're some pervert. And sing me a song, I say. Nursery sweet. But don't dim dim in. I'll know if you do. After some moments, she does. I remember our mother used to sing it to us. A gentle melody laden deliciously like plump young arms laden with autumn ripe apples. When the song concludes, Raphael sighs and looks at my sister. You're something, my dear. Really rather something. I would have you master your own fate. Let me give you free reign to do so. Let's abandon this whole ugly imprisonment. Serve me willingly. Things would be as merry and jubilant as that song you've just given me. Sweet Raphael? Yes, Hope? It. Shit. But stuff your melody tongue in some other woman's ear. Here he looks upon her with such longing and hate, I think he might actually kill her. Oh, that was an error, my dear. I in grave error. I shall see you soon. Archivist, without delay, move some of the contracts and treasures to the main cache. We are excited about soon acquiring the crown of Carstus and want certain things on display, while the rest may be safely stored in the sacred vault. What we want in the archives are the amount of greater health and gauntlets of heal giant strength. The place is reserved for the crown. Artifacts in the vault should be the stuff of spell power and backup gold cash. Gold. Okay, I want to see something because I would like to see which inter what interaction. See the Orphic hammer. It is. The Orphic hammer, right within reach. A magical field surrounds the item, preventing you or anyone from touching it. You surmise it's controlled by a vocal component. Magic words. Hmm. Reach out to sense how far you can reach before being repelled. Before you can reach out, a compulsion in your head stops you. No, it seems to say. Hmm. You are stupid. Okay. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we've checked all the doors. This? Oh, I believe that's it. Show your invitation. You look positively wretched. The archivist told you to cool off in the boudoir. Well, here it is. A horrid place where pleasure is pain and pain is pleasure and hope cannot live at all. Do you think there's anything that may help inside? Nothing stopping you from taking a peek inside. But you might get much more than an eyeful. Everything in this house exists for Raphael's pleasure, and Raphael's pleasure alone. That includes Raphael himself. Whatever form he takes. Restoration. A lost little mouse is running through the house. Oh, God. What the fuck have I stumbled into? A thief in the night, greedy and here to take. Why are you here? Uh, 
Raphael, uh, you're looking very skimpy. Raphael? <laughs> no. You will have a far crueler master than Raphael soon. But what inspired you to pay him a visit? I will tell you. This is very naughty. Whatever are we to do? Why don't we play a game? You win, I give you everything you desire. <laughs> but you'll enjoy yourself more if you lose. What's the game? It's a surprise. Off. I did not agree to anything. On the other hand. Good little thief. Good. Keep going like this. And you'll get to live. You'll be crying out my name soon. You better know it. I am Harlan. Raphael's personal incubus, glamoured and transfigured to look like him. Poor thing. I'm a perfect copy. He only ever wants to sleep with himself. <laughs> What's better than the devil you know, eh? His violating stare sees more than all of you. It sees potential. Before we continue, I want to make sure you're comfortable. Sometimes, when he's feeling adventurous, Raphael will ask me to change into the Archduchess, Raphael. I can take her form if you choose. A simple swap pales in comparison to what you are about to do for me. Stay as a man, if you please. Very well. I will be Raphael himself. He's getting worse and worse. All of him. <laughs> On the bed. Lie back. What's going to happen? I already <laughs> told you. It's a surprise. Don't you like surprise? Mm -mm. Mm. How did it go from zero to one hundred so fast in the span of three hours? Any thought of resistance or control is fading. You will obey, giving yourself body and mind to them. Prepare to fight back. You've got this. I believe in you. You can do the thing. You retain a trace of free will, but it is one drop in the ocean of their desire. It will not last. Every kiss is as tender as a last goodbye. Every touch a lie of true love. It is every sensation of a lifetime of love all at once. Your body trembles with impossible expectation. Unable to resist, a voiceless scream erupts from your mouth. Harlem. Um. Mm. You are so, so delicious. The moment he is inside, your mind folds over double. As he continues to lavish himself upon your helpless form, you stop breathing, your heart stops beating. And your mind begins to clear entirely. 
some last thought whispers in your skull, vacated by everything else but rapture. This is the end. Devote yourself to pleasure eternal. Stay here with me. This can be forever. No. <laughs> Try as you will, every part of you craves to melt right into him. You can have my body, but not my mind. A brilliant choice. Vow that your body belongs to me. Give yourself to me, and I will tell you what you wish to know. Pleasuring thousands with my body? What will- wait, what will you do? As with Raphael's, I shall add your body to my glamour. I will gain great pleasure from you, as you, but you must vow it, you are mine. Okay. <laughs> I disapprove of it. As he kisses you deeply, it feels as familiar as breathing. A last cascade of pleasure washes over you, greater than the feelings before, but it draws you back into reality. I can't wait to explore how you work, what gets you going, what makes you sweat. And every time I make love in your shape, you will know a shiver out of the blue, a tingle from beyond. You will know. Now, your reward for giving me such a present. I will tell you one and only one of Raphael's dirty secrets. Whisper it to me. What do you want to know? Password to archives. But... 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 What is... We, we found it! I want to know the end. Raphael hides nothing from me. Can deny me nothing aside from what he keeps in his safe the safe lingers behind the right hand painting of raphael <laughs> he almost spends more time staring at those portraits than he does at me although i'd love to watch you struggle to open the safe without it this key should help you've labored enough Now, shall we bid one another goodbye? Thank you for you. I will misuse you well. At least he has both of my original eyes. Please put some clothes on yourself. I'm stealing everything. The actors have finally reached Baldur's Gate, so I can commence the next stage of my play. They have learned the Astro Prison's secret, but I will tell them that I have the key. The Orphic Hammer, the only thing that can break the princess chains. 
the hammer will be kept safely in the archive, protected by a password. What shall it be? Perhaps give me my heart's desire. This will help us get what we need from the archive. Better to put the debtor's attire back on. Keeps the locals quiet. I put it on, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm? Trash world here, but I don't I don't have the infernal trim to put in there. Hmm. Good. Um. And I don't care that you do disapprove of what I did. Out of all four of us <laughs> I did what was necessary. Which you seek is still so close yet so far. Give me my heart's desire. Magic blinks away at your words. Careful now. Last thing we want to do is call forth Raphael's ugly mug before we need to. Okay. You are right. Of course you're right. Because once we are done with this, we need to run all the way around into the foyer, unless... Unless we can open these doors. Don't touch me. How oh, for a skeleton key. Thanks to that we have... Wait, but we still need to... Help hold. I inside. promise her we would help her. The spilt wine is laced with the perfume of an exquisite poison. An unexpected treat. Hmm? Do you know which one? Oh, so I can just steal it from him. Oh. Oh, it all went to this way back. So we don't know which one. Need to find a way forward. Infernal gem, maybe it is the stone, another stone, another is stone. <laughs> arcana, arcana, arcana. Protecting the secrets of its master. Ooh, okay. I'm not on my mind. Then, well, in it. I don't care about those. Can see in magical and ordinary darkness up to a range of twelve meters. You cannot be blinded. Find the key. Find the hammer. Break the chains. Run, run, run. Wait, I'm wondering which way we didn't go. Put my hand. 
hands on everything. I thought you'd got lost and died. Don't scare me. Not a door. Well, it's a jam jar. We won't find a way out here. Or a way in. What is this place? This is the Chamber of Egress. The portals here crisscross the plains, but they won't open to the likes of you and me. This is how Raphael consults with his clients so efficiently, no matter the time, no matter the place, and it's how he stalks his prey. There must be something useful here. Oh, there is. There is. If you stare into the portals long enough, your mind starts to do cartwheels and tricks you into thinking you're falling into a horrible yawning void. It's one of my favorite ways to pass the time. But you have no time to waste, or time will waste you. What you need from the house is in the archive. Not here! Okay, okay, okay. So let's go back to the archives. Let's. We will take this. One of us will take the hammer, the other one will take the gauntlets. And then we run. Chains. Um, it's find the key, find the hammer, take the hammer, break the chains, and run, run, run. I think at least I think this is how it was. Keep your distance, down. One step at a time. Allow me to save, because I'm honestly not sure how stealing works in here. Gauntlets of hill giant strength. Never a dull moment. Never one of these. It's no summon, Master Raphael. And I haven't finished dusting the artifacts yet. You've been most annoyed. Good news! A bad news! A worst news! C good news! You got what you came for. Successful visit! Great success! Fantastic work! Bad news! So many things will be on fire when you step outside of this room. You included! That's okay, no, right? It's hell! You expected it to be hot! Worst news! Raphael's on his way home and oh boy, oh boy, he is sprinting mad! You planned for this. I know you did. You have everything under control. Mm -mm. It's really important that you don't panic, even when your eyes evaporate from the heat. Come to my prison, bring the hammer, break my chance, and then we exit stage any which way. I'll be there. Work as a cockroach, lickety split if you don't mind. Oh, so there's her. Run! This is delightful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a hopeless situation. <laughs> Son? I can... <laughs> Apparently, I don't have anything on me. Even my weapon. You have my attention. I hope that he would help me get out of there. Death's cold grip. Oh. She's way too far, and I hate it. Wait, what? Try 
Mach ein YouTube Run. Oh, they are also bad. Speed, great. Because with that I can dash. How far can I... Ooh, that's far. Given I don't have... Most of the armor on me. Wait. Who's aggressive against me? Apparently all of them. That's good to know. Taran has the... No, 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 no. I have the hammer. So I'm the one that has to get to the... Um, hmm? How much does one deal? Oh, God damn it! Get over here. Help Carla. For another round. Because we need to go, go, go. <laughs> speed? No, why would you? Ah! Gail just died. I love 
love how it just goes all to shit so quickly. And don't get me wrong, I perfectly know that this is my fault. How much? 26. Do you have one of those? How do I even give away those scrolls? Carla has one, right? Yeah. Another fight. Let's go. There's another one. Breathe deep and move. I'm pretty sure Raphael is already in the foyer. Okay, she's still up. She's still breathing, that's important. Wait, they're both here? He just came up here? Don't worry, I'm not leaving you. There's someone. Oh, I believe you have enough movement. He has 12 health if he doesn't have 12 health. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Hmm. I suppose not. Um. If they are, they must be so creeped out. Ten. 
Such useless spells. Twelve to forty eight acid. Wait, can oh those are imps, not methes. They have poison resistance. And this is acid. So this I need to learn how to use those spells. I really do. This is precisely why I took Gale over there. Okay, please be okay. Careful. The jailer will swallow you whole if you take another step. And you won't be able to see me while you're being digested. You find my prison. My body is held in chains just beyond. The whole house is tumbling down and Raphael striding across the plains to come catch a mice. And I swing that big, beautiful hammer, crack open my chains, and let's get out of here. It's time to fly this coop on a hope and a prayer. Any advice when it comes to fighting Raphael? Don't! But if you must... Make sure I'm with you. He makes mistakes when he's angry, and seeing me running free will make him as angry as an axe head. Okay, let's do this. You sound so brave, but we really don't have a choice. I know. What is this about? Do I want to know? No, I don't want to know. That's the trailer, I assume. Four Misty Step, no. Oh, that's your jailer. I'm screwed. <laughs> 